Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Practical Programming Channel. In this video, I will discuss another code update for web GPU applications. Two days ago, Web GPU Working Group just released a new version of Web GPU API. That is version 0.1.4. The biggest change in this new version is that it combines swipe chain and canvas context into a single interface. There's no separate swipe chain anymore. In the previous versions, we use the WebGPU context to build a GPU swipe chain and specify where the results from the fragment shader should be written. The GPU swap chain is a universal concept in modern graphics standard. Now, in the new version, WebGPU combines canvas context and a swap chain into a single interface. It has also changed the name of GPU canvas context into GPU presentation context. In this short video, I will explain how these changes affect your web GPU applications. Here I will use the sample code in my third video series as an example to discuss the code update. You can update the other examples by following the procedure presented here. Again, I will use the gate tool to clone the source code used in the third video. Now open a command prompt window and run the following command. Git clone and paste this link. This will generate a WebGPU 03 folder on your local machine. This folder contains all the source code used in that video. Now cd into this folder, cd3, and we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code period. This is a Visual Studio Code interface. Now here contains all the source code used in the third video series. Let us first remove the main old.ts file from src folder. You can see main old.ts file because we will not use it. So just remove it. Delete. Yes. Now open a new terminal window. And I use the npm install command to recover the npm packages. Okay, finished. Now all the installed packages are stored in the node modules folder. Now let's open a package JSON file. JSON file. You can see the web GPU API the version is 0.1.2. This is the, the version we use in our application. We can update to the latest version with the command in pm update web gpu tabs okay you can see right now web gpu tabs is 0.1.4 this is the latest version now we can close this file now let's open the main.ts file from the src folder you can see some warning messages showing up. You can from here and here. You can see, but we can still run even though we have this warning. So we can bundle our file, for example, npm run prod. So we just bundle this file. You can see the bonding still works. So we can click this go live link to open Chrome Canary to see our triangle. Click this link. You can still see this uh, colorful triangle on this page. This means the old code still works, but with some warning 
in the development console, you can see here configuration swap chain is depreciated. Use the config instead and other error message. So it's better to update your code right now. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. You can see here this warning message. You see the GPU canvas context is depreciated. Use GPU presentation context instead. So we can change this to GPU presentation context. But right now you can see here another error. Property configuration swap chain does not exist on type GPU presentation context. So we need to make a change to the config. And also, this is uh, not a swap chain format anymore. We just use a format. Here, we also change to the format. You can see this configuration property return is undefined. You can see here. So this is swap chain here is undefined. So no return, actually. So we just uh, delay. That's the change. We just remove the swap chain from this application. Next is the format, not a swap chain format anymore. Just a format. You can see the swap chain. There's no swap chain anymore because the swap chain merged to the canvas context. So here we can directly use context, canvas context. This is the change we make. Now, you can see there is no warning meshes, no errors, and uh, there is no swap chain in this application. So we can save this file and rebound our code. Let's see. Now let's check the results. You can see the colorful triangle on this page, but without any warning meshes on this development console here. From this code update, you can see that WebGPU is a work in progress project. It changes frequently. Uh, you can follow this uh, video to update the other example or update your own WebGPU applications. If you want to use the new version 0.1.4, a web GPU API. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.